Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Today we'll be looking at some SWAT gameplay I had on Haven, and I'll be giving you um, some tri tricks and tips and thoughts on that. Um, this is only my second game of the day, and this is the updated Haven map with the lifts located bottom, Red Street, and Blue Street. Off the spawn here, you're going to want to consider this strategy that I'm about to show you. Jumping top middle right here and pulling out your battle rifle out of your sprint and aiming right here. Okay, because immediately you can see everyone's head who is on this street. From this angle, you can literally see everyone's head who is charging from their stairway into top middle. That's why I almost always jump there. Now, the reason why I didn't pursue that and continue to move there is because no one's over here. So what I'm going to guess where they're going to go. Well, they're going to go along this street. It turns out there's several of them going this way. So I'm going to zoom in and try to get a few kills here as they come out. And sure enough, there a guy pops out. Now right here, this is where it's my second game of the day. And I end up dying twice to a guy I really shouldn't have um, at the very early beginning of the game. And I, I apologize for that. The reason why I uploaded the clip or film in general is because A, it was short, and B, I used several very good angles uh, to take out enemy players. Now, I really need to pause here and give you a good idea of what I'm doing, otherwise you won't understand. There are two strategies for running a drift that I am well aware of in SWAT. All right? The first strategy is to hold the top middle area and to be constantly looking at their spawns. If you don't know where that is, typically people will either spawn open ramp, blue stairs, right here on blue stairs, right here on closed ramp, of course the opposite of open ramp, closed ramp, and then they'll spawn on red stairs. Okay? Now why, why, why do I tell you all that? Because when you are holding top middle, you're going to want to rotate around and look here, look here, and then look there, and then quickly check this spawn and do the exact same thing all over again. No, not necessarily counterclockwise or clockwise. It doesn't really matter. But that's generally the strategy I'm going to be doing. This strategy only works if your teammates are not doing the same thing. I'll repeat. Your teammates must be rotating around the outer edge of the map, just like my teammates are doing right now. And they're forcing them out of these streets areas. Because look, look at this wall here. I can't see anyone who's running down this street. I can only peek through this little window, which is why I uploaded this clip, because I get several clips um, of me killing people as they run past this window. Your teammates must be running down these hallways all and rotating around the map and killing them out from these hallways to get them on the respawn. That's the entire strategy behind holding top middle. The second strategy, of course, is to do what my teammates are doing, is to run around the outer side of the map. Notice I got a really nice window kill right there. Now, notice where my teammates are going right now. They're going to rotate around the map again, and they're going to try to force them out of the spawn. Again, I'm just, all I did there was I saw the guy run into that hallway. I immediately hop up on, this is called blue landing, because it's the landing of the lift, and I just followed him. Now this is unfortunate for me. He knows right where I am. This is a very bad play on my part. I stayed there for way too long. You, If you're rotating the top center area, you cannot stay in one position for any length of time. Again, this is why I use the battle rifle, because you can get shots like that. I have a bad tendency to fire my weapon first before actually aiming it, uh, which you'll see several times in this video. Uh, thankfully, my gameplay does improve as the video goes along. Now, I hear fire here. That's how I know that they're coming. I hear fire here, and I don't see blue arrows. Notice how your teammates have blue arrows over their head all the time. So I'm constantly seeing them. Why am I looking over here? Because I just killed a guy over there, and my teammates are over here. So there's no sense in me looking towards these locations, because that's where my teammates are. Always be reacting to your teammates in SWAT and looking the opposite direction that your teammates are to cover as many locations as you can. Now, this is a really nice place to surprise people off of. You can crouch jump or just normal jump 
onto this. And you can just look over here. It's actually really handy. Um, because if you drop down here, this is where they're going to expect you to be popping out. But down up here, they don't really expect that. Now, I hear this little guy lift up the lift. I'm able to catch him off guard because he does not know where I am because I've been rotating very constantly. Now, this is a really, really good play I make because if I had jumped a second time here, I would have died. You never want to do that. You always want to peek out to the side like I'm doing here and try to stay alive because they know you're going to jump. So that, that thing only works once. This guy just gets pretty unlucky there. There's like two guys who get pretty unlucky in this video. My teammates, by the way, are... Two of them are staggeringly negative, and the other guy is only mildly positive in his KD. So I'm really trying to rotate around this top center spawn and get as many kills as possible to um, carry my team, so to speak. The reason why I stay on that position so long is because I thought they were going to pop out there, but it turns out they don't. Um, and I'm not able to actually get that kill, but eventually a guy pops out and I'm able to get him. My teammates are doing a good job of forcing them out of the streets. Now, right here, I spend way, way too long looking at the open ramp spawn. If you're checking a ramp spawn, if you don't see them, they're likely not there. Okay? The only difference to that strategy applies with these other two ramps. This ramp right here, and this ramp right here. On the opposite end. Because they could be spawning and then running up. So you do want to pause half a second when you're looking at this ramp because they could just come up right as you're turning and they could kill you. But if you come over here and look down and there's no one there, rarely does an enemy spawn right here or right here anymore on Haven. That used to not be the case. They almost always spawn a little below the ramp. So if you come over here and don't see anyone, period, just immediately turn. There's no sense in looking in this direction. Again, having a surround sound Astro A40 headset, or really any surround sound headset, helps enormously in SWAT. Now, I have to pause here. This is one of the reasons I use the battle rifle on small range, short distance maps like this. I get one kill, I get two kills with one shot, because the battle rifle fires three bullets per trigger pull. So it's extremely useful. That doesn't happen very often. I'm not saying that's the main reason why I use the battle rifle. It's just simply a contributing factor. Uh, this is where I start doing extremely well. Um, again, this is an excellent place to check the opposite enemy spawn. They can, they're rarely looking down this crack right here. And what's, what's really strange is that everyone who spawns here, literally everyone, will w run up this ramp. If someone is using this top center strategy against you, the best way to counter it is to go down, okay? Don't ever go up, because that's literally what everyone does. You're so freaking predictable when you do that. Go down through the bottom and come up here behind them, okay? This is the most unchecked spawn now because players don't spawn here as much at all on this open ramp side. Pop up and kill kill everyone up here from behind. It has a great vantage point at top middle, and you can see where everyone is if they're hiding from you. Double kill. I just wouldn't want to go ahead and rewind that real fast here, because I want to make sure you see the entire multi-kill. That was semi-lucky on my part. Again, looking through the crack, I spot, I spot the enemy opponent. The same dude, again, charging top middle. This, and see, at the end of this clip, I will show you several extended, very, very good multi-kills that I got in on Haven, but were not a part of this game. I want to specifically show you this gameplay first, so that you'll recognize the strategy that I'm trying to pull off. Now, right here, I jump like three times, which is probably not a good maneuver. This guy ends up charging down... Um, which could have worked out for him, but I pr I knew he was kind of coming there. Uh, we have two kills remaining in the game. We've held a solid lead for most of the game, but the enemy has still held up a fight. Again, another reason why I uploaded the clip, because some SWAT films I have just aren't worth uploading. Um, so now I'm going to show you some extremely high multi-kills I got on SWAT Haven. 
Here's the first multi-kill I wanted to show you guys. Using the top center strategy that I mentioned of rotating around the center of the map. I end up getting a very nice multi-kill here. Only make shots like that with a BR. <laughs> Again, some of this is luck, I realize that. Um, some of this is that it's the old version of Haven, and that they actually do spawn on that lower area. As you can see here, like three people spawn there. Um, so now we'll move on to the second clip. Here's the second clip I wanted to show you guys. This is with me doing the second strategy I mentioned of rotating around the outer edge of the map. Being very sneaky and going between the pillars and jumping out and looking where their heads are. And right here I just happen to catch people off guard. Again, looking at their spawn, I spot three people and I follow a guy and end up getting the kill trossy. Alright guys, that'll be it for this video. If you liked this video, if it helped you in your strategies of playing SWAT on Haven, you could give it a like or thumbs up, that'd be great. If you really like this type of content, just subscribe and I will be putting more out shortly. Thanks!